Uh, oh, this one. This is um, a continuation of developing the Yamaha VP stuff. And this is Yamaha VP4 uh, Aftertouch. <laughs> Kicks, did an acoustic style bass. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is somewhat similar to the space of Pianara, but uh, a little more uh, zingy. This is called Zitar Keys 2. Um, you can use the second pedal to change the envelope shape. And the first one's the uh, basic tamper control. Uh, let's see, what's this? Uh, sorry, it's going through a lot of these. Hopefully I'm doing quickly enough and not boring you with the fact I'm playing the same thing over and over. Uh, this one's called Plucko Rezo. It's uh, another heavily filtered FM style thing. So you can change your waveform and your timbre. So the timbre's on B. And uh, waveform is on A. If you want a uh, clavy type of substitution sounds, you can find neat settings in here to... Sort of a general purpose DX7. Uh, this one's called Tine Wires. It's a nice hybrid of a uh, metal buzzy uh, Tine type thing. tones depending on where you play with the settings all right this is another dx80s flashback deal this is uh fantasia So the architecture of this really lends itself to pads and evolving things, and so I'm um, going to have a bunch of those coming up in the next few, but uh, this is fun. This is called Tethys Rising Aftertouch. So when you bring in the uh, mellow sustain on the B, We have an aftertouch effect. Very subtle. Sort of soundtrack central there. Uh, this is another uh, sound. It's got some uh, VP1 characteristics. It's called uh, Orgello Morph AT. First uh, ribbon in the pedal brings out a uh, woodwindy thing. In and out. 
second um, pedal does a uh, tweaking of the comb filter. Affects the second layer, it's a dual layer sound. And then we've got uh, a neat LFO repeating effect on the aftertouch. silly but kind of fine. Mm, this one's called Tine Wire Drops. It's another transforming fizzy patty percussive FM thing. <laughs> this excels at that type of thing uh, similar into that uh, vein of patty metallic FME wispy stuff this is called uh, this is a transwave AT Spooky, play just clusters. Some nice interstellar clouds of dust. So, a yeah, sister to that, this is Hyperion AT. Okay, this one's called uh, SY99 Ultra Res. Um, if you've watched my SY99 programming stuff, you know I like to find the very edge of maximum feedback um, and index to hold stuff right on the edge of breaking into noise. So by tweaking all that stuff out with the right phase offsets and uh, wave shapes, you can get some really nice sizzles that are uh, very um, different than what you get from filters. And this is uh, SY99 Ultra Res. So on the first pedal and ribbon, we have the uh, uh, wave morph to square it up. pedal you can take out the high res directly uh, this is called synth squealer AT does some synky mode shift sort of stuff on the aftertouch with a basic uh, fizzy synth sound <laughs> First uh, slider pedal mellows it out. I love that down low. Let's take it down an octave. Yeah. 